Hello, my name is Richard Kent. Uh, today I want to consider the nervous system in our bodies and how they work. I'm only going to look at part of the nervous system because it is so complex I couldn't possibly uh, de uh, describe all of it in one short little segment. Um, our nervous system is unbelievably complex. We have a central processing system called the brain, uh, which weighs about three pounds, um, protected by our skulls and uses 20% of the energy produced in our bodies by the Krebs cycle. If you deprive the brain of oxygen or sugar, for only three seconds I will be unconscious and, and fall off my chair and in, within three minutes I will be dead. Um, so I want to talk now about how the actual uh, nervous impulses are transmitted to the periphery of the body. And I want to describe first of all the size of the problem. Now you may be familiar with wiring diagrams of your car for example or of your central, of your central heating system or maybe a wiring diagram of virtually anything today in electronics today. Let me tell you that if you were to put on paper um, the wiring diagram of the human body you would end up with a wiring diagram that is larger than the wiring diagram of the telephone system of the entire planet Earth, including all the mobile phones and including all the satellites as well. That is how complex your nervous system is. That's how large your nervous system is. And yet, um, uh, impulses travel along nerves at the rate of 250 miles an hour. Now, God has designed a very, very sophisticated sophisticated way of actually transmitting uh, these electrical impulses along these tiny little axons which are the long uh, strands of nerve cells. So I want you to look at this pe picture and I'll try and explain it to you. The centre of the cell um, is actually negative and the outside of the cell is actually positive. Normally the centre the center of the cell is minus 60 millivolts normally. The outside of the cell by comparison is positive. So there's a polarity, an electrical polarity across the cell. Now separating the cell, the nerve cell, from the outside of the cell is what's called a semi-permeable membrane. That means most of the time uh, potassium cells um, inside the cell and sodium, so sodium ions outside the cell can't get in or out of the cell. But actually at the point of depolarization, a gate is opened at the periphery of a cell and sodium ions come in, making, making the inside of the cell positive compared with the outside. So you get what's called an action potential of about plus 40 millivolts, only for a few milliseconds, and then a gate is closed so that the um, no more sodium ions can come in and then the polarity is reversed by potassium cells going out through a different gate so that the whole thing is reversed and then the sodium and potassium pump works to restore polarity back to normal. So basically uh, what actually happens is that uh, an impulse travels down a nerve cell by um, God having designed a very, very intricate design of changes of polarity, electrical polarity of the inside and the outside of the nerve cell according to how porous or how permeable the cell is to potassium and sodium ions. Now, can you imagine anything more complex than that? It's unbelievably complicated and how evolutionists think that this could possibly evolve by chance is completely beyond me. This is totally supernatural and shows, these, uh, shows every sign of an intelligent, wonderful designer. His name is Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening and God bless.